never get enough track oh! Oh! And we're live. What's up? Day three in Colombia, keeping it going. Momentum, progress, stimulation, mental fortitude. Keep it pushing. Let's go. Day three, we're rolling. Continuous. It's really about that consistency. That's biggest part of this whole thing with everything you do is just keep that ball rolling. Even if it's just a little push, got to keep it rolling. What's good? Welcome to Dunk Life Daily. If you're new, what are we doing? We're on vacation right now, but we're still working. I posted a picture yesterday on my Instagram about chasing your passion. It was me working out here on this balcony. Yes, it's beautiful and amazing, but it is work. Got to keep my mind focused on it. And when you work on something and you stay consistent, it's easier because it becomes part of your routine and your subconscious. That's a whole other story. I want to talk about something different. But anyway, welcome to the show. Welcome to my, my life. This is where I live now. I wish. Um, dunk tips, life living. That's what it's all about. I feel like I'm sideways. What's good? Feeling great. I actually wanted to talk about yesterday's workout. Um, yesterday, I felt the most shredded I've ever been in my life. And I, that's because my strength phase, I built the strength properly. My power phase, I, I did that correctly. And then my speed phase, my elastic phase with some jumping now, I'm doing correctly. And um, all through that, I learned about my body, got in tune with my body, figured out the ailments and different things, made that mind-body connection a lot stronger, which I'm still working on. It's one of my main focuses right now, just so I can use my muscles to the most efficient movements possible. And the other thing that I added recently is cardio because now I'm in the speed phase. I'm jumping my best ever. And now I want to build my cardio because I've never had really good stamina. I've always been like a short burst type of guy, explode and do that, but not really like run up and down the court. And that's tough for game dunks to lose your stamina quick because I need 100% to jump. So if I run down the court three times and steal the ball, I'm going to be too exhausted to dunk. So I'm working my cardio, which I've never done. And it's a mental game, super tough to just run long distance and push my heart because it's like you have to stay so consistent. It's so much easier for me to just do a quick, really hard, explosive movement, even though I have to push so hard. It's much easier for me to do that short burst. Um, so I'm working that cardio, um, but there's a balance between cardio and explosiveness, but you don't want to just, if you just run as your focus, you're going to become a runner, but I add cardio in as my, into my jumping routine. So jumping is still my focus. That's all part of my programming, by the way, dunk life. Shout out to my dunk lifers. They started their training this week on Monday with the strength phase. Everybody did the, um, month one. Whenever you sign up, you get month one, which is the strength phase month one. So hit me up if you want to do that, but they all got started this week. Let's go. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was taking note of how you feel. Cause yesterday's workout is what I want to talk about. Stay on topic. It's tough for me especially with coffee in my blood. Colombian coffee is really strong and I could talk forever and I could talk really fast. One of my skills, especially when I have coffee in my blood, it just makes me talk really fast and I hope you can understand me. I hope that this mic is picking up these things. There's a lot of birds chirping. It sounds like my brain. It's like the birds are chirping. It sounds like my brain synapses are just firing, but it's just birds. Whew. Okay, so yesterday, working out, doing cardio, looking in the mirror, looking at my veins, looking at my arms, most shredded I've ever been. I never had this like bicep vein right here and as a combination of the foods I'm eating, the timing of my workouts, um, the hydration levels, all those different things and just really understanding um, how my body reacts to different stimulus and that's what I wanted to emphasize today is when you're working out, when you're training, the best advice I can give at all times, which I always say, is learn about your body, learn about what you need and what you're doing to cause that stimulus. Because no matter what training program you are, even if you're working with the best trainer, he's going to have to understand your body. That, those are what the best trainers do is they understand what you need the most. But if you can do it yourself, you can, you'll know your body more because you'll know what you're feeling. They can watch and they can see and they can hear you explain how you're feeling. But if you're trying to train on your own, you're following any program, following my program, you're going to need to know what you're doing so you can lift properly and so you can cause the right stimulus and understand that you're giving your body exactly what it needs. So seeing myself jump like that yesterday or jump a little bit and seeing my body kind of being even more defined and even more shredded is a great sign that I'm learning what to do and the foods I'm eating, 
uh, and just understanding everything behind that. And it's, it's a fun journey and I really enjoy doing that. It's just something that's taken so much time. Luckily now I'm more in tune is that's the focus of this podcast is think about it while you're doing it. Cause before I was just lifting and then kind of like going about my day. But now as I lift, I'm thinking, where am I feeling it? I'm thinking, I'm looking at myself as like, where does it look like it's feeling? Where am, what am I flexing? And then when I'm doing something, sometimes I'll notice that I'm flexing in a different spot than I was trying to target things like that. Someone's looking at me from their balcony. This is crazy. Um, so yeah, think about that. Stay in tune. Take no, I always talk about raising your awareness and when you, after you raise your awareness, use it. So use it while you're working out, use it while you're going throughout the day. When you eat something, notice how you feel. Um, I even think about when I was a kid is like, sometimes I would have zero awareness. Like I went to the dentist, I was thinking about this and then they would like, like clean the shit out of my teeth. And then the next day my teeth would hurt and I'd have no idea why. Like, why the fuck are my teeth hurting? It took me like years to understand like, oh yeah, I got, I like associated that with the dentist treatment. Cause like it was a whole day ago. I didn't even remember it. That's just an extreme example of how my awareness was so low. But now it's like the second I eat something, I think about how I feel. I think about how I feel throughout the night and it's good to even take note of it. I should take more, um, actual notes about it but um i'm very spacey when it comes to that i'm more visual so i think that's what's helping is that i i I make those little wins in my brain so whatever works for you that's another whole another podcast i've had to track yourself anyway let's get to it i'm on vacay i gotta get out of here but your favorite part of the podcast if i get my phone out of my pocket on this day in history let's go every day you're making history that's what it's about crazy shit's going down i wonder if people are hearing me okay july 30th night 1170, 1, how do you even say this? 1178, Frederick won, I, Frederick the first, Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor crowned King of Burgundy. Damn, Ron Burgundy was elected. Congrats. Anything else? 1935, the first penguin book is published, starting the p- paperback revolution. No, not a book about penguins, but that company. That's pretty cool, actually. Today in film, 1948, professional, professional wrestling premier, premieres on primetime network TV. Okay, I'm stuttering hard. That's that coffee making my tongue move faster than my friggin' brain. Today, 1954, Elvis Presley joins the Memphis Federation of Musicians, Local 71. That's awesome. Speaking of Elvis Presley, a new next level thing I'm doing is after my recovery days, I mean, after I work out really hard, sometimes I come home from the gym and I'm still amped, but I go in straight recovery more remote. Wow. Re- recovery mode. And one of the songs I've been listening to is Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Really calms me down. And you, you really want to calm your body down in every way so you can get into that recovery mode faster so you can start healing and recovering. And I love that because if when I get home from the gym, sometimes I want to like s- still listen to music and I'm keeping my body fucking amped in that fight mode. But you got to relax it even with music, whatever. Just keep your movements slow. Today in sports, 1884, nine Perel Dempsey fights George Full James... F- Possibly the first middleweight fight with boxing gloves. Whoa. 1930, first FIFA World Cup final. Estadio Centario Montevideo, Uruguay. Uruguay beats Argentina 4 to 2 in the inaugural event. Speaking of sports, this golf course right behind me, the Colombian Open, I think, is playing today. It starts today. So we're on like the ninth hole, which I think is the 18th because I think this is the back nine. So we're going to see the friggin', if it comes down to the wire, we're going to have a friggin' front row view. All right, and def- last but most important, the dunk lifer of the day. Last, co- last um, video, I, I read the comments from the last video. Got to reply to you guys. I will get to you. I wrote this. Someone wrote, X dot wrote, I just dunked with my skin today. <laughs> Favorite comment by far. All right, that's it for today. Take care of yourself. Listen to your body. And uh, if you want my program, by the way, because a lot of comments ask me how long is each phase, I can talk about that. Um, I might have talked about it on the previous podcast, but if that's something you want to talk about, let, let me know in these comments what you want to hear in the upcoming podcast. <laughs> I've got so much energy. I think I'm going to hit the gym today. I'm looking for a court to dunk on out here in Columbia to dunk on some people. And that's it. When I get back home, it's buckets and bodies. I got to freaking dunk on people. I can't wait to destroy rims when I get home. I'm, I'm already super antsy to dunk. Anyway, have a great effing day. Fill it with some freaking energy and love. Oh, yeah. And one more thing before I leave. I almost forgot. Toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh. That's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!